What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Rio West. You tuning in to Rio West Gaming, and we back. We down in the bayou, baby. We getting busy. Got a two-lane matchup this week, so you know what it is. Another American Conference matchup. And we fresh off that blowout victory over Florida State. We fresh off the Florida Invitational, is what I called it. You know, we jumping up in the rankings. We moved up to 12th. Championship contender to move up. We slowly climbing up from charts. You know, we, we regaining steam. We picking up where we left off prior season. And we making a statement. And we done signed our first recruit of the season. So clutch. Vertical threat tight end. Definitely going to come in handy in the future. We got a couple other uh, recruits. Got us number one on their board. One got us second. So it's looking good. It's looking good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Year two. Year two has been the best. Been the best so far. Out the gate, we 4-0. We got another conference matchup coming up, another conference opponent. Tulane University, down in the bayou. We about to go get us, get us a, a little a fresh bowl of gumbo. You know what I'm saying? We about to go cook. We about to go cook in, uh, cook in the bayou right quick. So checking out uh, our recruits right now at the moment. We got 135 hours to utilize this week. So we just need to assess. Assess what we going on. Assess how far. I'm not liking the fact that Doman done slipped down. We done, our interest done dropped down. I don't like that. Phoenix is ahead of the crowd, so I'm not too too worried about him. It's looking like he's a lock. Flowers is doing pretty decent, but we got some people creeping up. We we, we got some things we got to watch. We got some things we got to watch. But we got our, refer our first recruit in. We need to go ahead and make sure we start applying pressure. With some of these other cats, uh, that's that's got a decent lead. Again, like I said, I know y'all probably getting tired hearing me say it, but if you got a decent lead, go ahead and follow through. Apply more pressure and close in. Close in, follow through like a brave. Like, yeah, we in the lead, but I ain't allocate no time. And I'm trying to hurry up and get him to uh commit so we can utilize that draft, that not draft, but use that spot on the recruiting board for somebody else. And we can go ahead and lock him up. And he's a four-star recruit. So the sooner the better. But, yeah, you know what it is. We're going to utilize these hours, these last few hours. We've got about 60 hours left. Oh, spread it out with some of these people in these key positions that we need. Trying to shore up that uh, D-tackle spot for sure. We definitely want to lock up the middle because we don't need especially with this iteration of college football we don't need to be having any any um any holes in our defense up front in the middle so we want to make sure that's locked up because the run game this year is insane so we want to make sure we solidify our defensive line but we also want to solidify other aspects of the defense and the offense so we got to make sure some of these other prospects that we don't have hours allocated to that we got to get them allocated. But uh, it looked like Nick probably ain't going to land with us because all these other teams got a decent, uh, a decent lead ahead of us as far as the interest is concerned. So we'll just see going forward. We'll see. But right now, check out these top stories. We got Texas facing off against Georgia. Isaiah Bond, four catches, 113 yards, and a touchdown. Okay, that's your top stories for the week. But bump them top stories. It's time to get in a little lane yet. You know what I'm saying? Time to get in this uh this little matchup down in a big easy. You know, Tulane been on the rise the last couple years, so they might not be the easiest opponent. But nonetheless, we're going to come in prepared. You know, we the goal is to come out of this and maintain our status moving up on the national rankings and to be five and oh we trying to we try to feed off of what we what we produced last year in year one and we're trying to push forward we trying to what's what's the name of the game mode dynasty we trying to produce a dynasty here so the only way to produce a dynasty is to keep applying pressure and putting our foot on the neck of our opponents. And that goes for Tulane as well. But I'm talking greasy. 
We can't take them slick. We can't we can't take them lightly, especially given the fact that they at home. Because one thing about me, the way I play, I like to audible a lot. And when you're on the road in this game, audibling is out the window. So Ty Thompson, as they start in quarterback, as they start player, that's the guy to look out for. Come on, lock him up. Come oh, so that's what we're doing out the gate. That's what we're doing out the gate. First play of the game, take it to the house. We we seem to sleepwalk into all these games. I'm I'm not rocking with it. I'm not rocking with it. So Cam got to come out and keep building off what he did the prior game. I said we wanted to air it out. We got to air it out. There we go. Dump off Grenard, getting busy like he always do. Come on, Zemo. Come on, Zemo. Turn it up field. Turn it up field. Take it to the house. Uh, good spin. Good spin. Come on, let's punch this in. We got to tie it up. We got to tie it up. There you go, Grenard. Get in that end zone. There we go. Way to finish. Way to finish. Yes, sir. We in there. We in there. All right, 7-7. Seven, seven, I'll take it. And, yes, I'm counting the extra point because I'm not missing no extra point. This ain't Madden. We ain't got to kick it from 40 yards out. So, 7-7. Seven, seven, I'll take it. I'll take it. We just got to hold them. That'd be the problem. We come out, we score, but we don't hold them. So lock up, please. Thank you. Come on, let's get in that end zone. There you go, Zeke. There you go, Zeke. Slow footed, but you be doing work. You like Jason Witten out here. Dump off. <laughs> come on, don't tell me this a hold. Don't tell me this a hold. Please be roughing. Please be roughing. Yes, sir. I'll take it. I will take it. We'll accept that. Nice screen pass. And we get the penalty. We'll take it. Punch that in. Come on now. Y'all see why I go to my go-to. Because any other inside run or whatever don't be working. Or I might got my new go-to on that bubble screen. Because Henry been getting busy. Henry been doing work with them bubble screens when we get on the goal line. So now I can mix it up some. I got my speed option. Also got the bubble. So going into the second quarter, we up 14-7. I take it. Should be 14 nothing, but I take it. You know, we just gotta keep building. We gotta keep building. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's keep keep up the momentum. Lock up. Don't let him. Look at this. It, I was about to say, if he ain't tackle him, I was gonna be hot. Oh my look at this. Come what are we doing? It's like the greatest show on turf. Oh, and he broke this man off something so serious. What are we doing? Got these boys looking like the greatest show on turf. Come on. Come on, Henry. There we go. Defense selling us out right now. Offense doing their job, but defense selling us. Ooh, that's a dot while, while being pressured, being hit. I take it. On the money. Punch it in. Let's go, Odom. Let's go, Odom. Okay, no, nah, keep it, Cam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Cam with the wheels and the arm. He's showing up this game. All right. Slowly but surely showing his talent. We'll take it. We'll take it. We might be, we might be gunning for, for Heisman with Cam. You never know. All right, lock up. That is not locking up. Jesus Christ. That's Jerry Rice in his prime. And then you can't even tackle. I don't know what it is this year, but you cannot tackle from behind at all. Dot, give me me. Come on, Grenard. Keep doing work. Keep doing work. Oh, what you got, Cam? Ooh, that, that's definitely a dot. Good job, Zeke. Good job. We'll take it. We'll take it. Slowly but surely matriculating downfield. Zeke doing work again. Okay. Come on, let's finish. Let's finish the job. 11 seconds. Punch it in that end zone. Get in there. Eight seconds left. Let's let's score before half. We got this. Henry, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Henry is becoming our touchdown machine. When we get in the red zone, Henry it is. Halftime 28-21. It's a shootout. It's not where we want to be, but it's where we need to be. We need to be up. That's all that matters. We want to be blowing them out, but as long as we up, it's cool. Rushing 12 carries 71 yards. They got six for 77. We'll take it. So let's come out. Let's put some more points on the board. There we go, Henry. 
Henry becoming reliable too now. At first it was just Grenard, but Henry becoming reliable too. I got me a nice little dynamic duo at receiver right now between the two of them. We'll take it. Come on, let's punch it in. Finish the job. Perfect way to come out of halftime. Yes, sir. That's how you build on your momentum. That's how you build. We was up at half. We got the ball at half. We came in. We punched it in at half. Or after half, should I say. Now we up 35-21. I take it. Now if the defense can just hold somebody, we'll be good. This is good for the development of the team. Good for the development of these players. Some of the young stars. So lock up. <clears throat> Do your job. Come on. Ty Thompson out here throwing dots his damn self. Third quarter over with fours up. 35-21. You know what it is. We got to close. We got to close. Mobley having a solid game. Ain't his typical game, but he's having a solid game. He's being out right now by Tulane back. But it's all love. Fourth and two. Get a stop. Have a day. That ain't having a day, my guy. And they left him wide open. God damn it. Come on now. You got you to gotta score again. Because they on that BS right now. Turn it up. Turn it up, Zemo. Okay. Turn it up. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Come on. Dot him up. Dot him up. Okay, Jamari. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Finish it off. Finish it up. Walk it in. Walk it in. That's what I'm talking about. Get busy. Get busy. 42-28. It is what it is. Don't let them get another cheap score. We tend to do that in these last games. In the last minutes of these games, should I say. Let these dudes get a, a little cheap touchdown or two. Can we not let that happen? Ah, give me me. Threw it right to me. Read it all the way. Yes, sir. User lurk, baby. User lurk, baby. Baited the piss out of him. We'll take it. We will take it. Best believe it. We're going to try to run it up again. You know the drill. How is the stadium post up when we've been whooping they at? Come on now. Come on, Cam. All right. Scared me for a second. I thought that was Cam got hurt. Walk it in. Walk it in. Hey, I don't know how that's a tutty, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Any, any extra points is all good in my book. Come on. Don't let them get no trash right here. Got him. Ball game. 49-28 statement victory down in the bayou. Doing work. Florida Atlantic on the rise. If you wasn't familiar with them, you're going to get familiar with them. Cam Fancher with a ball game. 306 pass yards, 89.3% completion percentage with five total touchdowns. My man, I said I needed to see him step up. I needed to see him air out. I was talking to myself too. But... We got it. We got the results that we was looking for out my guy. He did work. He got busy. And now we can start focusing a little bit more on that pass game and not so run heavy. I like it. I love it. And the best part about it is so far to the start of the year, his interceptions is extremely low. I think I've only thrown like one interception with him so far. So he's been looking good. He's been real efficient. And his numbers has been looking real solid. Completions, 25 for 28 for four touchdowns. They was 11 for 14 for three touchdowns. He had 306 pass yards today, 221. So that means he wasn't sacked not once. Three for six on third down, three for three on fourth down. Again, y'all know what it is. I'm Dan Campbell of the college football scene. That's what we do. No interceptions. 30 punt return yards. Let me see. No penalties. Excellent game. We can have no penalties. Time of possession, 19 minutes to date, nine minutes, you could say. So they quarterback Ty Thompson had a solid game. They running back had a solid game. Receivers did decent. But what Fancher's numbers was looking like, 228.2, 25 for 28, 306 yards, 89 completion percentage, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Then we had Zemo with the 19 carries for 145 yards, 7.6 yards a carry, two tutties. Cam with three for 24, eight yards a carry, one tutty. Grenard doing his work, 14 catches, 197 yards, two tuds. Henry had five for 27 with two tuds. See what I'm saying? Henry's becoming that magnet on the goal line. He's becoming that touchdown magnet. I love it. I love it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it all day. What that defense was looking like. Did we get pressure? Hell no. 
We got one sack. We got one interception. But they got the job done. They sealed it. They didn't give up too much points. They gave up more points than I would have liked. But they they didn't give up too, too much. We'll take it. We'll take it. Another dub. Another week. Another dub in a book. I'm going to always take them, especially when we can get them on the road. So we moving up. We moving up. I'm intrigued to see where we jump the following week. But we're going to go ahead and cut this one short. If you made it this far and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that notification tab too so you can stay up to speed with more episodes of the Dynasty Rebuild. More College Football 25 content as well as Madden 25 content. That's been my time. I've been your host, Rio West. Till next time. Peace.